So now we make the settings and templates so we are ready to upload. I loaded back in the designs we already tagged but what would now happen if I haven't set or configured anything in the settings go to upload and for example upload to Spreadshirt. This warning would pop up so the template was not configured please configure the default template for the Spreadshirt.uk platform. This is because of course the tool also has to know on what account and what template it has to upload. So it's nice that we selected here um, man, women and youth and the color white, but should it be a shirt, should it be a hoodie, whatever. And this is what we do now. We go to options, we go to settings, we go to all of the points now. So general, um, the appearance you already saw, the speed is fast, medium and slow. If you really have not a good internet connection or a very inconsistent one or a really bad PC or laptop, then you should probably try or medium or slow. Normally fast is for nearly everyone possible. Um, the short in text when uploading, if you for example upload to Teespring, Teespring allows only 40 characters in the title and your title would have 50, then the tool would, auto would automatically cut it and um, so it meets the standards and can, it can be uploaded to um, 40. If you select this, be careful with trademarks. Um, so the decision, the decision is up to you if you do that. Then the auto login is very self-explaining, I think. I already configured that to speed things up. So we will make the example with Spreadshirt.com um, UK and also with Redbubble. Um, all the other platforms work exactly the same with the auto login. Um, then the template section, this is the important one. Um, you have to understand the template model once and then you will see all the advantages. It's a wide area because we have so many platforms and to go through all of them is take, uh, took, takes a little bit too much time. So um, what you can do or what I can give you is you have in the tutorial section on flyingupload.com a configuration guide where you can look up everything. How does um, templates in general work? Um, how does it look like for every platform? How to define it? What platforms have no template? What platforms have a template? And where to get this template from? I think you understand what I mean. Um, everything explained there. You can look up everything here and we just make the um, example with Spreadshirt, uh, yeah, with Spreadshirt and Redbubble to make it a bit faster and easier. Also, you can go to our YouTube channel, Flying, and search for something like how to upload Flying Upload um, or directly on the YouTube channel. Um, you can see here an upload video in German or in English to every platform. So you see also here, where is the listing coming from? Where is the template coming from? How does the upload look like? And if you really struggle with a platform that something does not work, then go to our Discord, write us a mail and we will answer you very quick, very soon. And we will also solve this problem. Yes, and um, this is how it works. Um, now I try to make it fast and easy for Spreadshirt and Redbubble, so you understand. Um, we begin with Spreadshirt um, UK. Spreadshirt.com is already configured also to save a little bit of time. Um, it looks like this. So of course you have here your man, woman, youth settings. You set here for the options and here the color settings, black, white, and colorful. And the thing is you take this design here for man, woman, youth, and white. So it will jump here in this section, in this case. Um, for men, women and, uh, and youth, this will be the first line and the color white. So it would choose the template that is configured here. Um, where is this template coming from? Very simple. Go to Spreadshirt, go to your template section you configured and then select the one you want. This can be every template you want, every name you want. Uh, mine is named white all. This is the template I want to use for my white background designs. So I simply put that in here, done. And the important thing, this is the template I want to use for 
every specific template I have here. Even when I don't um, tag it for youth or edit it for youth, I simply want to use this template. So I put this one here every time. Um, so no matter what I choose here, as long as I configure it for white, always this template will be chosen. If I have a special template, for example, for my uh, kids designs, then I can take the special kids design I want and okay, this is for youth, this is for white, this is my special template, simply put it in here. And if you edit a design just for youth and the color white, this template will be chosen. Um, now we still have this default thing here. When not every specific template is filled out. This is also possible. For example, the last one, the youth one, and you edit a design especially for youth and white. Then the tool would look here and it will find nothing. Exactly. And when it find nothing, then it will always take the default template. And this is also the reason why the default template has to be configured. Um, you can take the template you want um, as long as you have fill out every specific one it will always take the specific one if it don't find the specific one it will always take the default okay we did that for white then we also have edited designs for black same game I have here a template for my black designs this is the only template I have and I want to use so put it in here done finished colorful designs I usually have no colorful I will want a black preview or a white preview um, if I select one for colorful, it's empty, so it would take this one, the default one. It's okay, perfect, fine. Um, yeah, finished. Same game for Rebubble again. It's just a little bit different where the template is coming from. Go here to your portfolio manager. I have here a design with a black background that I want to use for my black designs with a black background. Copy the link here. And this should also be my default and also my design I always use when I upload or when I tag something for black in that case, not white. Same for white. Go back. This, for example, I want to use for white. So I copy the settings again. I copy the link again. I enter this here. And yeah, my templates are configured also for a bubble. And I hope it makes a little bit clear. Um, same for spreadshirt.com, I already configured that. Um, yeah, Teespring also the same, Shirty the same, Society6 and so on is a little bit different because the tool does more or less the whole work for you. As I mentioned, simply look in this configuration guide. Everything is there. Also in YouTube, video to every upload, what you can configure. So. And if you still have open questions, go to our Discord, ask us. And this should do it. Okay, we have configured the templates um, for the platforms we want. We click on save and this is it. Job is done. What is the advantage of that? Um, the advantage is you have, you did this now the first time and this is the one time you have to do it. You can now always work with the templates. Tomorrow, edit 20 designs and you can click or go immediately to upload and upload the designs, boom, finished, um, work is done, you know? And also when your template or when Spreadshirt or a bubble takes new products, um, you simply can edit your template on Spreadshirt or a bubble and from the next upload on the new um, products will be chosen. And yeah, this is how the configuration works. And after you did this, you're ready to upload. Just one more thing, because I always forget something. The add-ons. Um, sites like Display or Sassel have a lot of captures or random capture that appear in our store. You can buy a capture add-on um, and you get a key for that. You can activate and then you don't have to be um, yeah, next to the upload and solve them manually. The tool will do it for you. And also for the Deeple translation, if you say Google Translate is not good enough for you, you can add your Deeple key here, click activate, and then you can translate with Deeple. Okay, this is how the settings work. This is how the templates work. And in the next video, we will upload.